everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Marissa, if you're new here. I just want to say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate you all and I love you guys so much. And thank you for all the love and support on my latest videos. So, you guys asked for this, so I am delivering. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own logo apps for shortcuts. So, on my phone, you guys loved my home page icons right here that I created on Photoshop so I'm going to show you guys how you can do that on your computer and also your phone and all that stuff. So the first thing I do is I, sorry I had all these open, I go to canva.com so I'm already on Canva, I already had it set up and ready and what you're going to do is you're going to hit create a design up here and you're going to go down to logo and it gives you a perfect square. We're going to click on it, make sure that the blue is highlighted around it, and we're going to hit this background color. Now, you can pick from their little you know, color selection, or you can type in the color code. So what I do is I'm going to look up beige color number code. And you can look through, like, I really like this one. So it's CFB997. So CFB997, you're going to type it in, and there it is. Perfect. That's the color I want. So to make your own personal logos, we obviously need the logo. So I'm going to look up Instagram logo white PNG. Now, this is tricky. Sometimes when you're downloading PNGs onto your computer, they're not always PNGs, even if it has that transparent background. So either way, I like to make it a PNG on my own. So I like this one. As you can see, it's white. So I'm going to save that image, and I'm just going to name it Instagram logo to my desktop. And it should just automatically pop up. If not, you can just go to your computer and pop, bring it up. So we are going to make it even a more PNG, just in case it's not. So I'm going to hit this little button, this marker button. I'm going to hit the magic tool. And you're just going to drag it so it, whoop, sometimes you got to be careful. So you got to drag it so it's around just that outline. And you'll hit delete. And then you want to do it on the inside very carefully. You don't want to delete all the other stuff. So now we have a full PNG, and it will say PNG up top up here. So we'll just hit exit, and let's go back to Canva, to our design, and let's upload that image. So we're just going to upload it. Okay, I named it Instagram logo. Great. And there it is. It's nice and uploaded. So you're going to wait for it to upload, and then you'll just drag it on here and then you can make it whatever size you want so I'm gonna make it the width of the square and then I'm just gonna make it a little bit taller make it a little bit big because I like my logos to be big so I can see what they are on my phone but you can always customize that through your shortcuts now see how I have this like white line here I clearly didn't make it a full PNG. So what I can do is I can go back and just make it a PNG again. So that way I didn't get the outline, the back or the borders by accident. So I'm just gonna make sure I get all that. There we go. Let's delete this. Or let's delete this one too so I don't get confused and let's re-upload it so you can just keep going back and forth making it a PNG make sure all the background is gone and then we're going to upload it I'm going to center it there we go make it we'll make it big we're going to get the width of here and then we're going to center it again there we go Perfect. So now you're going to hit download when you, however you like it. And now with Canva, you can even add like elements. So you can like add hearts if you want. You can add text, but I just leave it like this. So we're going to download it. It will download as a PNG, which is great. And now it should have download, brought to your downloads. I just bring it to my desktop. And I am going to share it. I'm going to airdrop it to my phone. 
That way it's on my phone, I have it, and we can start to use it. As you can see, it's on my phone. So I'm going to share my screen real quick on my phone so I can show you how to make it with the shortcut. So I have my photo here, as you guys can see, and you can see on the screen. And we're going to go to shortcuts. I was already creating a bunch of stuff. <laughs> We're going to add, we're going to hit the plus sign, add action, make sure you hit open app. And we're going to hit Instagram, even though I already have one, <laughs> but we'll make another one. So I'm going to name it YouTube Insta, that way I don't get confused. And I'm going to hit add to home screen. So don't click any of the shortcut icons yet. So you're just going to hit add to home screen and you'll get to this page here. Name it again. YouTube Insta or name it whatever you want and then now you'll hit the icon next to where you just named it and you'll hit choose photo you're gonna upload your photo and now you can like make it huge small however you want center it a little so like I said I like mine to be really big so I'm gonna leave it just like right there hit choose and then you'll see on the preview that you can preview it if it's not centered or what? Mine's not like super centered, but it'll do. So then you're just going to hit add and then you'll hit done. So then you just have to hit done again. And now there it is. It's on my home screen. It's right there on my blue page. I don't know why it always goes there. Probably because I have room there to add the app. And then you can hit edit home screen and you can literally drag it wherever you want. And then it's super easy to delete. You'll just hold it down and you'll hit delete bookmark. And there you go, it deleted it from your thing, and then you can go to shortcuts, and you can also delete it there, which you'll hit select, hit it, and hit delete. Super easy, that is how you can make it on Canva. Now you can do that on your phone as well. Sometimes it's just hard to customize it on your phone because sometimes it's not always a PNG. So while we're already on our phone, let me just show you. So I'm gonna go to Canva. I was already creating some stuff. And we're gonna hit new, and you're gonna hit logo. And then we are going to upload an image. So let's upload. I just looked up PNG logo Instagram, and I found this one that had a whitish background and then it turned to the transparent. Try to look for those. I'm gonna hit add to photos because then it's like it will come up like a PNG. So we're gonna hit camera roll here, and we, first I looked up, a look up a solid color that you want. I just looked up pastel green solid color because I thought it was cute. And then you're gonna hit done, and then you're gonna hit the plus sign again, and you're gonna hit images. And then you're gonna upload that Instagram logo, and there we go. Now we have a cute logo, you can center it, Make sure that it's centered right there. I just save it, save it as image before it does that like white background thing. I don't know why I was doing that. That was weird. But look, now I have it on my phone. So let's go to shortcuts. Let's hit add, add action, open app, choose it. Let's hit Instagram again. Three dots. Let's name it. Insta <laughs> with a bunch of A's. Add to home screen, name it again, choose photo, there we go. And then you can obviously drag it however you want it. I want it right there. Obviously the mine is not centered, but you get the gist. You're gonna hit add, you'll hit done, done, and there we go. Now it's on my blue page again. So that is how you can create logos. That is how you can create customable, customable apps, which I think is so cute. I love the shortcuts. I've kind of gotten used to it, like lagging a little bit and then opening the app. But I think it's just so cute just to have like on your home screen, even if you don't even use it, you know, because you can just go to your messaging app, like wherever you put it and then just click it instead of having to do the shortcuts. But I think it just looks pleasing, you know, it's just so like therapeutic. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was super helpful. If you have any questions, 
Let me know in the comments down below. I have been trying to get to all of your guys' questions and answering you guys and trying to figure out how to and trying to figure out what's going wrong, if things are not working for you. So let me know down below if you have any questions. You can always DM me on Instagram. All of my socials are linked down below. Now, if you like the logos that I created on my phone right here, they are linked in my Pinterest board under iPhone pics and my, my Pinterest username is linked down below in the description box. You can use those for free. I uploaded them for you guys and all of my backgrounds. If you're wondering where my background and home screens are from, everything's in that board. So if you don't want to make your own logos and you want to use mine, feel free. It's all in my Pinterest. So give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.